uh, let us see about demographic cycle in detail. We have five stages in demographic cycle and in each of these stages the birth rate will be represented by blue lines and death rate will be represented by orange lines for us to understand easily. So in the first stage or the stage one of the demographic cycle what happens is that initially both the birth rate and death rate will be high on the higher side okay so this country or the population in this country will be experiencing high birth rate and high death rates since both of these are at a stationary level this population is called as high stationary population which is stage one and then once the medical care system of this country starts to improvise what happens is that the death rate in this country starts to decline rapidly okay so that happens next but uh, the birth rate will be still at the higher level and it will remain uh, higher above the death rate okay so this stage where the death rate starts to decline is stage two of demographic cycle okay so since here the population starts to expand because of decreasing death rates this phase is called as early expanding phase why is it called early expanding phase if there is something called early expanding phase there should be something which is followed by a late expanding phase which is stage 3 of demographic cycle what happens here is that this country starts to follow contraceptive measures which helps this country to achieve low birth rates compared to previously and here the death rate was already low and it is further decreasing so it will reach further lower level but uh, the birth rate declining is the most significant change here okay so here also the population is slightly uh, expanding uh, since the death rate is decreasing but more than that the birth rate has started to decrease as well okay so that is the thing which happens in stage 3 then what happens after this is that this country enters into stage 4 what happens here is that the birth rate decreases very further and reaches an almost plateau state okay St stationary state and this death rate which was already low will also be on the stationary side okay so here what happens is that both the birth rate and death rate are at a stationary level and both are at a lower end so since they are the lower end we call this low and since they are stationary we call this stationary so stage 4 is called as low stationary stage and after that the last stage is stage 5 what happens here is that the birth rate starts to decline even further and it reaches a value which is lesser than the death rate okay so it this as you can see the curve of birth rate which is blue curve goes below the orange curve and that is what happens in uh, stage 5 which is called as the declining phase so these are the five phases apart from that there are various terms which you have to know regarding demographic cycle one is called as demographic gap which is the difference between birth rate and death rate okay so what do we have here we have demographic gap which is equal to birth rate minus death rate what questions uh, will be asked to you is that where is the demographic gap maximum so as you can see here the point where i have represented with this arrow right here is where is the demographic gap maximum because you can see the distance between the two curves is maximum at this particular point so you can say that demographic gap which i am representing as dg in short is maximum in stage 2 of demographic cycle and then another question which you can expect is that in which phase the demographic gap starts to increase as you can see in this picture right here 
uh, the same phase, which is stage two, uh, is where you can see the gap between blue curve and orange curve starts to increase. So the demographic gap is starting to increase, or you can say the demographic gap starts to increase in stage two as well. So these are some of the facts regarding demographic gap. And they'll also ask where the demographic starts, the demographic gap starts to decrease. As you can see here in the, in the next phase, which is stage three, you can see that the just after the end of stage two, what happens is that this demographic gap again starts to decrease and decrease. As you can see here, the demographic gap has decreased in stage three. So demographic gap is or you can say demographic gap starts decreasing in stage three of demographic cycle that's another thing okay so another thing which you have to know regarding demographic cycle is that we have a term called demographic trap we have a term called demographic trap what is demographic trap is that in stage two of demographic cycle in stage two of demographic cycle you can see that there is more of birth rate whereas a uh, very low death rate so the population in this country will be very high that this country cannot accommodate the number of people which it has because of the exceeding birth rate but decreased death rate so that is what happens in stage two of demographic cycle so that leads to increased trapping of population of all age groups in this country beyond the limit with which it can accommodate so that is why this stage two or early expanding phase is also called as demographic trap and now there's another phase which is called as demographic dividend or demographic gift now why is this uh, why is this phase called demographic gift or demographic dividend is because in stage three okay first of all i didn't tell that uh, stage three is called as demographic gift or demographic dividend the countries which are in this stage are called as uh, being in demographic gift that is because they just entered from stage two as you saw here stage two had very high birth rate but low death rate so all the high birth rate which was present in stage two all those people entered stage three and they are from they are in the economically productive age group and they're going to contribute to the country and by doing so the country's income is going to increase and the country is going to do well that is why stage three is called as demographic gift or demographic dividend so these are some of the terms which you must know regarding demographic cycle another thing to remember is that india is currently in the late expanding phase of demographic cycle there's a way to remember this but no offense various procedures which has to take place throughout india always gets delayed by one way or the other so it always happens late so that's why you can remember that uh, india is in late expanding phase but that's not true always but it's just a way to remember and another thing uh, to remember is that uh, being an indian means you're gifted uh, just a way to make you remember so that's why india is uh, currently late expanding phase which is demographic gift or demographic dividend so those are some clues which can help you remember some of the things about demographic cycle if you watch this video uh, twice or thrice again it will help you retain more of it Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button right now so that I'll know that I should be making more videos like this. And also you can share this video in your groups so your friends also will get benefited. And if you want more, more of such videos, hit the subscribe button so that I get motivated to make more of such videos. You can check out more videos by seeing the by clicking on the links you see on the screen right here and there are some other useful links of some of the important uh, 
simplified videos are made in my other channels which will be provided in the description of this video so go check it out thank you so much for watching this video till the end i'll see you guys in my next video